Okay, just to give you a quick idea of how to do the magnet. Now, I've sealed this down. It's still drying, but um, I tell you, the color's not coming off of it anymore. So I'm I'm uh, pretty pleased with, with the, it, just the pinky softness to it. Um, so happy with that. Uh, now we're going to do our magnet. So... I'm going to take a piece of yeah, good boy. I'm going to take a piece of uh, it does not have to be this large. It's just the size that I pulled off. And I'm going to drop the magnet right on top of it. Close your envelope up. Let's pull that magnet over to the far side there get your paper onto the double-sided tape and let's just pull off enough of that double-sided tape so it's not hanging too close to the edge where we're not going to be putting paper so don't push that down real real hard and you'll be able to Pull it back up and cut it off. There we go. But now we have a secure magnet that is going to close on the spot. Okay. So this is the inside. Just like that. And I have enough room that I'm going to be able to get my paper down around the magnet. And I don't know if I need to worry about just little corners. Or just leave it. I think I'm just going to leave it. Honestly. I think I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so let's take this off. You can choose whether you want to put something on the corners or not. And then all we need to do is figure out another one of this size. So you could, let's see. We could take this before we glue it down. And draw. A little hard with it full of glue, but There. So now I've got my other one ready. Let's get this down before my glue dries. Push that up a little bit farther. There we go. All right. I tell you, it is amazing me how this watercolor paper does not like to stick to glue until the glue the, this glue grabs it and you know finally just says hey you're mine <laughs> but uh it it does take a lot of convincing a lot of convincing I did glue that little piece down that didn't have enough glue on it. Oh, I think that's very pretty. And then the magnet hits the little doodad. And this closes up. Yes. 
And then this will just be very simple. I will do the blues on this corner though. That's for sure. For sure. Okay, guys, I'm going to get this one done. We'll be done with this and we'll move on to the next one. Yes. All right. Love it. Talk to you guys later. I just wanted to show you that back end of this envelope. We magnetized it. I'm really liking the color we put on there. And then uh, I just kept this very simple here. Um, I'm kind of sorry now that I didn't continue with these corners. So I think I might uh, end up taking a piece and just kind of sketching it out to get me a little corner on each end there. Um, I won't bore you with that, but basically um, I'll take a regular envelope, uh, you know, an un unadorned one and just play around with it. But I'll get those corners like I did here. But here I took this piece and I lined a piece up with the side here, cut off anything that was lasting on that side and just glued out enough that would come, you know, past the end of the envelope. And then I just took my pencil and drew where I wanted it and then cut it and attached it. So uh, it looks much nicer. So I will finish this off here. But anyway, so there is our front page. This is the spine on this side. So this will be the first page in. Okay. Now going to this one, we're going to work on the inside here. And I know that here I want to just do pic picture mats, but I want to go ahead and start using up some of the pieces that I've cut. And um, I kind of like the fact that I will get this bottle in on two picture mats because I'm going to do two, um, four, uh, four by, well, a little shorter than four and a little shorter than four and a quarter. So they'll be nice, you know, basically four by four pictures. Um, but I want them to fill in this area and be even all the way around. So I'm going to show you a, a, a way to do that. So we are going to, usually you take a piece of paper and do it where you're going to mat it first. And then you fold it one way, cut it, fold it the other way and cut it at the fold where you just cut the fold line off and you end up with four matching pieces. Well, I don't have uh, a whole sheet that I want to use. I have two, two sheets I want to use. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to make this the height that I want to get my edges in. Whether you want to cut off the bottom or the top is, you know, completely up to you. And I'm making a mark. So I will have that just like the size I would have as a mat. All right. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Well, you also want to make sure that you're making them the exact same size. So let's do it this way for this one. And this one primarily is the exact same size. The, the thing you got to remember about working with um, watercolor paper is it does warp. So you will get bits and pieces let me do it from the end here. Pull it back a little bit. You will get bits and pieces that, you know, might not come out square. There we go. Okay, so this should be the same size. And it is. Okay. Now, this is eight inches 
but we just matted it so it really doesn't matter as long as you mat it to your piece top to bottom <clears throat> excuse me this one counts now this excuse me this is eight and a half this way this is eight inches so I want to cut these at four inches now this one I'm going to get myself to a good cut on this side and then I'll measure over four inches and cut this one I'm just going to measure over four inches and cut all right so let's get myself a good starting line on this first one here okay so I've got a good starting line and this is what I cut off so I'm going to put this into my little scrap bin so now I'm just going to measure over four inches and cut And then this is what I have left for this one. I'm just going to, well, I might need that line. So I'm just going to leave that just the way it is. So there's my four inches. It's going to do the same thing, measure over four inches and cut. Okay, so there I have that and this can go in my scraps. All right, so... Just making sure I'm still working with the same size paper, and I am. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold these. Match them up. And I left my good bone folder out in the living room. I was doing some, getting rid of some scraps last night. I still had a few Christmas scraps left that I came across, so I was uh, putting them onto um, scratch cardstock and, um, yeah, scratch cardstock and uh, copy paper. So now I'm going to go to my cutter and I'm going to cut my fold off. And that's really all you're going to do is just cut the fold off. Um, so, you know, it's like a sixteenth of an inch, something like that. Just make sure you're getting the fold. Let me find. So that is what I cut off. It's about a sixteenth of an inch. All right. So there's those two. And just make sure you're doing about the same on the other one okay so there's this one let's see how we did this one and this one all right so I got it backwards <laughs> I needed to cut them down opposite. Okay, so I'm going to pretend like I got these folded. And my cutter will do all four of these. Not very happily, but it will do all four of these. And let's see. I needed a good quarter of an inch off there. If I do that and do that. I'm going to make a mark where I need to be right there. So I actually need to cut half of that off on both pieces. So that's a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to cut an eighth of an inch off all four pieces at the same time so I know that they're exactly the same size and figure out which side you want to cut off of if there's something you don't want to lose because it really doesn't matter yeah I think we'll be fine all right so I'm going to cut an eighth of an inch off 
Make sure you keep your papers all lined up. All right. So here's this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. Yeah. Um, let's see. Whoops. Because there is a definite, you know, difference between the two pages. So I'm just wondering if I ran something up the center, I would be much happier. I don't know that that's it, but I definitely would be happier with something up the center to kind of break it up. That might work. Just about a half an inch off of there. That might be Although, I'm sure I've got something else that is going to have more of both colors or something that has neither one of the colors. I've got a nice half inch right there. Let's try this one. Oops. Let's try this one. Okay. No, not liking that one either. <laughs> let me let me try this one. I'm ending up with lots of little strips, but that's okay. We always use those puppies. Alrighty. And of course, I would just glue it down. Ah! It's hard when they're all moving around. Um, that one really doesn't float my boat either. What to do, what to do, what to do. Let's see about a little bit of lace. I know you all were yelling at me about it. Get the lace out! Get the lace out! Um, that would definitely work. Let's see if I've got something else in here that would be just even more cooler. Just even more cooler. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, guys, I'm going to put you on hold for a second. And let me look around. So I'm going to go with the first, my first choice, which is what you usually end up going with anyway. <clears throat> so I'm going to do my edging. Get that gold in there everywhere that I can. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. My allergies have been horrible. Horrible. So, um... We got a package uh, delivered to our house from the old owners the other day. So I had to text her and say, hey, and uh, I, I told her if we saw her coming, we'd pop out and say hi. Well, you know, or she could not, but she didn't. She just grabbed it and left, which, you know, was fine, but... Um, just kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe, you know, <clears throat> we would, when we first bought the place, we would 
uh, converse quite a bit, but it's been, um, you know, over a year now. And uh, we just don't seem to talk too much anymore, which, you know, I guess is fine. I never see them in town or anything. Uh, but they're busy. They've got two kids. But anyway, so it, obviously it's not been in a really exciting couple of days <laughs> since that's all I have to talk about. We just stayed in. I am planning on going into the big city of Ashland, Kentucky on Thursday because looks like Joann's and all of them are having a President's Day sale. Plus, both my husband and I do need more winter clothing. We are just still not doing real well with that. I mean, I, I have a few, I have quite a bit of stuff that I lay, you know, lay around the house with, but I don't really have that much stuff to go out. And, uh, yeah, so that, that still is a necessity that we need to work on. I'm going to go ahead and start gluing these down and then we'll glue the ribbon down. This is, <clears throat> again, I'm sorry. This is, um, let's see, I would rather be able to maneuver these a little bit. Where is my, instead of this glue, I'm going to get my Tombow Mono. This will leave me a little bit of time to maneuver these once I get them all down. Oh, you're not wanting to come out of there real well. Okay. But you do have to kind of be quick with it as well. So there's that one. And I'm not pushing down real hard either. So a lot of it is just not making contact. And my husband's out at the shop making his knives. He got another consignment the other day. So, he's selling stuff better than I am. But, uh, my new book that's coming out is, um, is going to be for sale. But, I just haven't gotten back on Etsy or, it's not like I've really been trying to sell the stuff. Uh, I just don't know. It's, it's a lot of hassle. Um... And, you know, I just don't like the computer part of it. But if I want to sell my items, because I'm backing up, guys. I am backing up. And that's going to not let me move too much. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we're going to go with that. <coughs> so sorry. My dog Hooch last night pretty much slept all night while we were sitting watching TV and he just was tired and we're like, Hooch, come play with us, you know, and he was like, nah, well, then we get in bed <laughs> and he's like, okay, I can play with you now. Oh my Lord. So I got up and went out into the living room to play with him a little bit and allow at least one of us to get some good sleep. There we go. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I'm just going to burnish everything down. It is a little hard working with this, uh, with this paper because it does warp a little bit. So you just have to take your time. I think that 
piece came up off of the watercolor paper. Oop. Too much glue. Okay. Um, so, but I ended up actually falling asleep on the couch. I did have a blanket. And uh, I'm finding a little bit so this bottle didn't get glued down very well. Um, so my husband, when he got up this morning, he said, honey, go to bed. So I just got up and crawled into bed. I ended up playing with him for 45 minutes or so until he got tired. And I thought, well, I'm not going to, if I get him up right this minute, he's just going to start playing again. So, um, yeah, he, I just laid there with him and I just fell fast asleep. <laughs> yeah. So little, little on the tired side today, just a little, just a smidge. Okay. And then we're going to put this down. What about, let's see where, 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 where here. I kind of like the gold. What about this? Hmm. So I get my gold on there, but that kind of tempers it down a little bit. So it's not in your face gold. Do I have it on the right side? Yes, I do. So... I think that's what I will do right there. Let me put this glue away. Thank you. Um, and I think I'm going to put my eighth inch score tape down. Right between the two pictures. There. Oh, come on now. Tear where I want you to. Oh, for heaven's sakes. All right. And then you're sticking to my finger. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not, not enough sleep last night. Let me get a, a nice piece. I need about that much. Okay, let's pull this one up, push this one down, because I made it a little longer than I needed it. Go ahead and get this one off. I got glue on these tweezers, I guess, because the points are sticking together. Oh, no, that pulled the whole thing up. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to... Let me go ahead and... Just get these edges. And let me make sure... Yeah, if I get this edge, I think this will be perfect. I cut this for something else. I don't quite remember what. But it's going to be perfect, I do believe. Perfect. Perfect. Center it across both, but remember it's only going to get stuck down. Okay, and this is a little crooked and a little long. There we go. Let 
And then we're just going to really burnish that into the center there. There we go. And then when we go to put this piece on, let me go ahead and measure this out. So I get it where I want it. And I think I'm going to cut it right there. Oh, I have a fly in here. Yuck. I do not like flies. They're pesky little creatures. Okay, I'm just double checking. I've got a good length for this. And I do. As long as I don't stretch it out, I have a very nice length for this. All right, so now I think this one, I'm going to put a quarter inch tape on the back. Right down the center. Remember, don't stretch your tape. Just lay it down on it. I'm zigzagging back and forth here. It's the only thing about glass is that everything slips on it. But I do enjoy having my glass mat. Most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time. Okay. And I believe that by having this, you're going to still be able to see some of the gold coming through. Come on. Come to mama. Oh, that's a good baby. That's a good baby. All right. Let's get this one stationed down here in the center. Just do little pieces at a time so that you keep it in the center of your gold. And it does allow for the gold to show through, which is what I wanted. Just a little bit at a time, but make sure you're not stretching it because unless you made it a piece or only had, if you have to stretch it, then by all means stretch it. Oops. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, that's cute. And it's something that's nice and flat, which we needed. Okay. All right. I need my little handy dandy here. Lots of little fuzzies. All right. So there's our front and there's our back. Love it. Remember, you're going to put, put, be putting pictures on here. <clears throat> and I will make, I, I, I figured out that um, these templates that I made are something that I think anybody would uh, appreciate having. Um, I mean, there will be pages where they can cut them any size they want, but if they want them to fit specifically onto one of these, having a template would make it a lot nicer, a lot easier for the person putting putting the photos in and hence maybe they will actually use the book because I don't know about you guys but um, I get excited more when they show me the book with pictures in it you know then if they did oh it's I, I just loved how you did this and loved how you did that but there's no pictures in it and it's like yeah I want I want them to want to put pictures in it. So I, I want to invite them every way I can to put pictures in it. So I think if we made templates, that will work. And that's usually about the last thing I do. Okay, now we have this. And remember, this over here, this over here is our spine. So um, 
we're still kind of looking for things that are flat. However, uh, I do think that if I did kind of like a, what do they call those? Oh my goodness. It's like you start with a piece of material and you add all kinds of little things on a snippet roll. I think that's what they call it as a snippet roll. So if I made myself a snippet roll that would fit across these pieces, and they're not exactly the same size. This is a little thicker than this. So I would have to probably make a snip, snippet roll for this one, a snippet roll for this one, and a snippet roll for this one. Although I think these two are the same. Um, because I don't, I do want you to be able to open this easily. So I will probably also put um, something here, uh, a ribbon pull or, or something like that. I, um, I think I can definitely do it without, you know, having the papers on at this point. So, um, but that would, and, and not go crazy with the snippet roll, but, um, utilizing, you know, my buttons, maybe even pulling out some, some very simple white, older, my antique white ones, cause they're off white and, uh, just making a snippet roll. Now, this is the spine here, so I will have to be, I might, I might make it a little heavier on the corners a little bit and leave this area just some lace and stuff. And that way you'll be able to get to this and we won't really build up too much in the spine area. So that's what I was thinking. And there's lots of good tutorials out there on snippet rolls and how to make them and that kind of stuff. Cause that I'm going to do probably tonight while I'm sitting with my husband. And so I won't really know what I'm going to do with this until after I get that snippet roll done where I can kind of lay it out and then figure out my, my innards. Um, because of all of the colors that I would be putting in my snippet roll, or would it be better for me to figure out what I'm going to use and then do the snippet roll around those colors? That would probably make more sense, wouldn't it? So, beep, 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 beep. Do I like that one? I like where I put that acetate clock on this. Um, but I don't know that I like this whole spread. Uh, I'm just trying them out. Seeing what I like. Seeing what I like. Baby, you know what I like. I don't know what I like, but you know what I like. That one's that one's possible. I'm not liking the dark brown with it. And that one's dark brown. That one's very, very yellow. That one's a dark brown. All right, well, guys, I'm not going to bore you. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've got this piece of material, which I think I have wide enough to go. And I did pick a page that I wanted. And so... I'm going to, I've got this folded now so that I've got all the raw edges all together on this side. And I'm leaving a nice eighth of an inch. And then I'm just going to put a little mark and leaving a little bit on the outside edge. And then we're going to see, 
if we can go ahead and cut this with a rotary tool. Let's, so it's ending up being a half an inch, just about a half an inch. Yep, yeah, so everything's lined up and all right, papers. Getting him away. Where's my rotary tool? Where's my rotary tool? Right here. All right. And I'll stand up for this puppy. Okay. So there is the piece for the bottom. Then I'm going to snip off all these little edges that I've created because I don't want them until after I'm done. So I'm leaving myself a nice little eighth of an inch. Gonna make a mark, line it back up on my table. So this one's a little less than half an inch. A little different than working with paper. <laughs> All right, let's try it right there. I always get confused as to which end I'm supposed to use. And I don't think these are, this wheel is super sharp. Oh, and it moved. Hazards of glass matting. Huh. Yeah, I don't think this is very sharp. <laughs> Let's just, I've got the line. Let me just cut this. Whatever way works for you guys. There we go. So there's my middle one. Not a lot of room. But that's okay, because I probably won't put that much on that, on, on this one here. That is the spine side. Now I'm going to line up, line up my edges across this way. And let's do the same on this side. Make a mark. And make a mark here. Okay, and I think this time I'm going to do it with my scissors. I'm just going to line up the marks. Oh, it moved. Okay, and let's make a a pencil mark so I can see it because you know me in straight it doesn't have to be perfect we're not looking for perfect just you know as close as we can get all right and I still have some to play 
<clears throat> and then this is the top. And I'll work on one at a time so I won't get them confused because they're all three different sizes. Okay, so then I'm just going to make my little snippets. Um, these obviously don't have to be this length. So let's go ahead and get that worked out as well. I think I will make this the full length. Let's just leave a little edge. Good. So that can go back in my stash. And let's do this side. Because these are the ones that are going to get more of the goodie on them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, so we have that one done. <clears throat> this one I might just leave plain. I just might do that. And I'm going to put this down in between the two. <laughs> See if I got the right length. A little long. But that's okay because I can slide it underneath. So this one will be attached first and then these two over top. And that's, that's perfect. Perfect! <clears throat> Excuse me. Probably what I should have done is gotten the lengths that I wanted and then cut it, but they're two different lengths. Obviously, this one and this one. Let's see. <clears throat> so they didn't waste everything. Yeah, they're, they're just a little... This one's just a little longer. But anyway... So, now I get to some fun hand stitching, some uh, snippet rolls. I've never, never made them. I made them with just paper, but um, this will be fun. All right, guys. So, when I get this done, I shall return. But let's see. Let me open this up. And this I did make where I could put this over the top of this. So that'll look pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. And I am going to add uh, to this. I do want to excuse me, I do want to kind of bring in, I want to bring in this lace, um, maybe tone a little bit of this down with, uh, with, with some things around her that, you know, will cover up a little bit of that. What? <laughs> uh, so we will play with that one. <coughs> excuse me. Um, but uh, I don't think I want to do it until after I get the snippets because then some of the things that I use on the snippets I will incorporate into this. So, there you go, guys. Alrighty. I shall return with some yummies for you to look at. Alright. Bye. Hey, guys. Okay. Um, I just wanted to give you a little look at what I have for... Um, those snippet kind of things. Um, here I've had just, there's little bits of rope, little pieces of material, um, little bits of lace, just, um, just really literally snippets. If, if it's really tiny, I tend to just kind of put it in here, um, because I'll use it. 
and uh, this is some of the um, I actually cut some of this up uh, for you know it's like this stuff um, some of the laces that I had already pulled out for it this is some of the material that I had pulled out and I just cut some strips off of it and then that gold ribbon I just cut some little odds and end pieces um, I had some uh, pink it's a I, I don't know it's it was a ribbon I mean not a ribbon a, a piece of uh, kind of lace but it's made out of more like a tool um, so I cut bits and pieces of that and some other materials um, one of the materials I had stamped on it previously so I have a little bits of black from the uh, ink from the stamp so there's some you know just little differences and then these are some colored pieces that I found that I think kind of go nicely with the page in small little tidbits um, this is kind of a plum uh, sheer fabric this is um, a peach very very light peach fabric uh, lace then the pink is um, actually dyed but um, I think in small pieces that would look really good and yeah that's about it for that uh, and then I pulled out some seed beads some uh, seed cup bead cups uh, and some buttons that I had in you know in the stuff that I had except the, you know the beads and the bead cups um, I did not so that is kind of what I'm going to start with and these are really 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 small and I thought you know what if I go to sew these it's going to drive me nuts trying to keep all of uh, you know all of that little stuff in my fingers so I figured I would go ahead and just use my Fabri-Tac. Um, so I'm just going to, this is the bottom one. I'm just going to go ahead and start and stay on for a few minutes so you can see uh, what I'm doing. Oh, and I've already got it blowing up on me. Oh, come on. I just filled these and cleaned them so it should not be doing this there we go okay so I'm going ahead and squeezing it and putting the cap back on while it's squeezed and then it'll suck it back down and it won't do that for the time being anyway I'm trying to keep it off my fingernails <laughs> okay so just grab some things and remember we pretty much want to keep it on the uh, on the um, material we don't really want it hanging off much don't want it hanging off much you can layer them Uh, get a little bit of this. Let's see. I've got some sorry silk. I think I told you that, but yeah, I've got little bits of sorry silk. Um, this jumped over into the wrong pile, so we'll stick you in there. Uh, little bits of gold. I'm going to slide this underneath. Let's see. Let's put the wider end underneath this. Can you come in here? Uh, yes. <sighs> Sorry, my husband had to ask me a question. Um, so we're just going to keep playing until I have it the way I like it. And then I go back through it's a little bit of ribbon organza I guess
And I like this material so some of it shows. That is fine with me. Uh, I think I'll put a little piece of gold here. Sorry, silk back. This. I want a little piece of this pink. Okay. And you know, I might get done with this and decide, oh gosh, I really don't like it. And that's okay. I will have it for something else. I might even just use it on the cover. You know, I, I don't know. I'll put these away. Um, a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Now let me get the paper. I want to see what this looks like. If I'm even going to like it. So let's move this off to the side. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm going to add a little bit over it on this end, and then I'll add a button or two to it. But basically, that's all you do, and then I'm just going to go behind myself and, and glue down these pieces where they sit and move on to the other ones. And that's as easy as it is to make one. So... Get all your little pieces out. Don't ever throw them away. Just start yourself a, a little cubby to stick those little teeny pieces in so you can make this kind of stuff. All right, guys. I'll be back when I'm done with these three. Thanks.